everyone, this is Tanner here. It's been a while since I've done a video. I've done a lot of YouTube shorts. And one of the YouTube shorts I did was, how would y'all rank the new Super Mario Bros. games? And I thought, you know, why not do it in a fleshed out video? So we have all five of them, new Super Mario Bros. on the DS, Wii, 2, U, and then Deluxe. So let's rank them. Starting with new Super Mario Bros. DS. I think DS is a very solid game. It does a lot of good things. It introduces us to the level layout we'll see in the games. We have the star coins, the checkpoint flag, the different themes we'll see in worlds from Grassland, Desert Land. It's overall a nice reboot to the Mario franchise. I think in terms of the console use, I like the DS uh, top and bottom screen, how it has the level progression. I think that's actually a really neat idea. Now, my issue is, is that it doesn't have I don't think that many things exciting about it compared to the other entries. My main issue is that the Mega Mushroom and Mini Mushroom that are very much, you know, advertised as we can see Mega Mario on the cover, they're not really used a whole ton in this game. So I think New Super Mario Bros. DS is a great entry back to Mario. I mean, before this, we had the two games, uh, this two Super Mario Land games on the Game Boy. I like those games, they're fun. DS was a great entry. But going back, I don't think it's a high replay value, even though I do think there's some cool things. You also have those mini games. Overall, I'm going to have this third. I think it's a good game. Not great, but not bad. New Super Mario Bros. Wii has a lot of the heavy nostalgia factor for me. I grew up playing this game and really got me into Mario. But let's take off the nostalgic lenses and look at the game. I do think it does some things well. I love the powers. The Propel Mushroom Penguin suit are so fun and they're used well. We also have the Ice Flower for the first time in 2D Mario. That's pretty cool. And I overall like the multiplayer to an extent. I think it could have been better, like having some cool, you know, systems around it. But is it fun and chaotic? It is. We have the Koopalings back, which is neat. But for me, I just don't think there's enough stuff in this to have it be number one. I would like some other game modes. You have this like challenge mode and coin battle, and I'm like, okay weird <laughs> that was just something that didn't sit well with me it's a really good game i think it's a really good game to pick up and play have some fun powers have some cool boss fights and i think the power up usage and i think more the level design has it for me above ds but it's not the best in my opinion so this might be the most controversial take i have new super mario bros 2 at last spot at number five now i want to talk about this game because I think when you talk about New Super Mario Bros. 2, you have the potential in the game itself. I think there's a lot of things this game could have been with the coins. You could have unlocked new characters and power-ups, and I believe you could have had that. But let's talk about the game itself. Well, it's on the 3DS, and they don't do a whole ton with it. I found the 3D very poor in my opinion, and it was very unengaging. Um, it's weird because you have six main worlds and three bonus worlds, but it's weird because they are structured weirdly, and I feel like the power-ups are just kind of odd. You have that raccoon leaf back from Super Mario Bros. 3, which is cool to see. I just wish you had some other new power-ups. I mean, this is new Super Mario Bros. 2, even though it's the third game in this series. You know, DS from Wii, we got some new power-ups. Going from Wii to 2, even DS to 2, it's not a whole ton included. I do like some of the secret levels in the bonus worlds, like War of the Mushroom and War of Star. Um, there's some neat levels, and it's a fun game. I don't think this game is terrible. I think it's like a solid game. But in my opinion, I think where it is in the franchise, it could have been a lot more. And the game itself is just okay. New Super Mario Bros. U is going to go at number one. I do think this is the best in this series. I love how the world map is something you can look around. And yes, it's the basic grass, desert, ice theme. I get that. But I think it's a bit more expansive in the way it's constructed. I like how they're named after foods. That's a really neat touch. The boss fights, I like. It's the Kooplings once again, but they're fun. Also, same with New Super Mario Bros. 2. That game has some good boss fights. I think the gameplay itself is better. We have the Acorn Mushroom, and we have the Baby Yoshi. So we have a lot of new power-ups to use in the adventure. I love the non-campaign modes, such as the different little you know, side quests, you can do the different missions. I really think that's a huge step up between you and we, because I think if you take that out, it's close, and you could say, well, yeah, but I think that really helps you take the cake, and I think it uses the Wii U gamepad 
All right. Overall, I have a number one. I have a new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe number four. Listen, I just feel like this game is cool. It's fun. Nice to have a Switch re-release. I just wish we had a bit more in it. Yeah, we have some new power-ups, but it's very limited. The reason I don't have this fifth is because I like New Super Mario Bros. U a lot. So, I like New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe over New Super Mario Bros. 2. This list is basically, if I were to play them, the ranking order. So, I'll go U, Wii, U, 1 on the DS, Deluxe, and 2. So, that's how I do it, but let me know your ranking in the comments below. Overall, I really like these games, and if we had New Super Luigi U on here, I'll probably put it... Between Bros and Deluxe, I like that one a lot. It's a pretty fun one with Luigi, the shorter time levels. But I know what you all think. I have a couple of new videos coming up, so be on the lookout for that. Until then, take care and have a good one.